I asked, where is Joe Biden? When you got up to the podium next, he said, that is a great question. Where is Joe Biden? Sucking the blood of children and... Well, if Joe Biden knows where he is, it'd be helpful. He sure as heck not down in the border. He sure as heck not down in Laredo. And his policies are abandoning the people of Laredo and abandoning the people of Texas. The policies of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle leave Texas dealing with the brunt of a wide open border. And they laugh it off. They ignore it. The stash houses in Houston, Texas, the stash houses in Del Rio, the stash houses in Laredo, the stash houses in McAllen, the stash houses up and down the border where little girls and little boys are being put into the sex trafficking trade. My Democratic colleagues who love her go pat themselves on the back for being compassionate are nowhere to be found. MIA. Joe Biden, nowhere to be found. Why people die. Why people die from opioid overdoses. Almost 100,000 this year in the United States. When the cocaine problem was a big deal in the 1980s, we were talking about 10,000. Now we're talking about 100,000. Just where in the world are my colleagues on the other side of the aisle? We're sucking the blood out of kids. I tell you where they are. They're running around preaching about masks. You know there's people out there who aren't listening to God and what God wants. You know this. You know who they are. I need you to be my apostles. I need you to go out and talk about it and say we owe this to each other. We love each other. Jesus Jesus taught taught us to love love one another. And how do you show that love but to care about each other enough to say, please get vaccinated because I love you. I want you to live. And telling the people of Texas that small businesses in Texas must force vaccinate Texans if they've got more than 100 employees. Ultimately, those who are not vaccinated will end up paying the price. That is literally not in the Constitution and is fully unconstitutional, unlawful. And I very strongly encourage the people of Texas to look at the President of the United States and tell him to pound sand. Get vaccinated. Do not follow that order. Do not accept it as legitimate. It is not. And this is a theme that the people of Texas are gonna have to come to grips with more and more. That when the President of the United States impeachably refuses to faithfully execute the laws of the United States, it is incumbent upon a free people in a sovereign state to come up with the ways that they believe are important to defend their borders, secure their citizenry, and take action, irrespective of the orders of a president who fails to faithfully execute the laws of the United States. I do not make those statements lightly because those statements mean something. But we're under assault in Texas, and this administration does not care. And worse yet, this administration is taking specific action and specific inaction to purposely create the situation that we are having to deal with on the front lines in Texas. The affirmative task we have now is uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order, world order. Well, I'm not sure you should assume I'm not corrupt, but I thank you for that. The system does produce corruption, and and I think implicit in the system is corruption, when in fact, whether or not you can run for public office, and it costs a great deal of money to run for the United States Senate, even from a small state like Delaware, uh, you have to go to those people who have money, and they always want something. 